the fudge you doing? Hey guys, Dfield here bringing you another episode of OP Prison. Guys, this third episode is going to be a re-recording and I actually had a third episode recorded and my fraps uh, file, like the video file crashed and I lost the whole 20 minute clip and we got so much done in that 20 minutes that I'm kind of bummed because I talked about a nice topic and then um, all of a sudden it was kind of gone. But as you guys know, I do have this uh, plot right here. I'm not sure if I mentioned it in the third or the second video, but in the third video we got our own plot and we actually started making our first little house slash uh, future shop right here. So we have our future shop going on as you guys can see I've got some stuff stockpiled and um, I've got some stuff like all organized We spent an entire episode basically setting this up and then there was a bunch of people that were kind of uh, Helping us out giving us some stuff to build with like glass and stuff and um, I actually am rank M now test I'm rank no oh I'm rank O so I've done um, a lot of that stuff and I actually lost my YouTuber rank really quickly because uh, somebody uh, bought the $10 rank for me and um, the $10 rank made it so that the YouTuber rank got taken away and then I just have to uh, contact the admin again to get the YouTube rank back but we're gonna go ahead and go straight into the same subject that I talked about in the corrupted file and I basically was talking about a little bit more of YouTube you guys seem to want to know more about that topic so we're gonna go ahead and talk about that for right now but um, I wanted to give you guys a couple of new updates I am rank O, so I'm gonna show you guys I haven't really looked at all the warps yet but we're going to go ahead and go to warp L and then uh, I think that's the last letter that I left off on before uh, the second video ended. So I really wish that I could have uh, shown you guys all of that stuff directly but I just couldn't do it because obviously um, a lot of the stuff was kind of just... Um it, w it was corrupted and I couldn't really do anything about it. So there, it looks like here is like a new um, straight PvP map right off the bat right here. And it looks like the, the prices are slowly, slowly increasing. And now there's Unbreaking 3 on these signs. So all the stuff just kind of, uh, kind of upgrade, I guess you could say. It upgrades the more you get into... Um, the more you get into the higher ranks and it looks like it gets a lot more dangerous as well as you guys can see here there's like a bunch of uh more there's more blocks but there's a lot of stuff that can just be stolen and broken but i do have the let's see sell 64 diamond blocks for 236 thousand if i go to warp killa so i th i have like a donation rank on the server because of obviously i'm a youtuber so i have a donation rank. i'm not sure if it sells for more sell 64 diamond blocks 100 yeah so the blocks that i'm currently on now finally sell for more than the donation blocks themselves so there's a really really lot of there's a lot of stuff to do actually and i'm kind of just gonna go ahead and continue with the series and kind of just talk about the random topics that you guys uh suggested so we're gonna go ahead and um i'm gonna go ahead and warp to n and then warp to o and see what other kind of stuff <clears throat> we can uh, find over here so it's getting more and more dangerous so as you guys may have noticed I do have god apples on me just because a lot of people are gonna try to be killing me they're gonna try to kill me because they know that I'm recording and uh, is this the safe zone so this is safe zone uh, sell diamond box 464,000 so if I if I do slash rank up guys I need 1.5 times e to the eighth power so that is like 1.5 billion no 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 1.5 yeah 150 million for me to rank up to the next level and this is kind of like um you guys were kind of saying in the comments uh don't take donations and i realized that you know what i might as well take the donations that people do give me because eventually they can't pay me enough like they can't pay me 200 billion to rank up to the next rank and um I, eventually it'll come to a point where i have to mine myself anyways to get a lot of the stuff so i might as well just uh I might as well just go ahead and take it for the meantime because it's not it's not going to make too much of a difference in the long run because a lot of uh, a lot of the stuff is just going to be not going to be able to um not going to be able to be ranked up anyway so i also learned another new neat trick i saw this on the comment section so thank you for who, who it was that uh quick shout outs to you i forgot your name i i can't remember off the top of my head but uh you guys did told me to do slash block 
and it automatically transforms all the blocks into this uh, into their corresponding block which is really really nice and it makes it so that I can I can mine for longer and I could get stuff uh, collect stuff for a lot longer but let's go ahead and speak get right into this topic that I'm gonna be talking about today and it's gonna be another YouTube related topic because you guys just seem to enjoy these types of topic a lot and um, I enjoy talking about it because I enjoy short uh, sharing the experiences with you guys sharing all of my uh, successes and all my fails with uh, all you guys just so you know exactly what it is I've gone through so we're gonna go ahead um, am I stuck here I think I'm stuck here it's a little bit dark oh my gosh all right anyways so the topic that we're gonna be talking about today is um, I saw it uh, on it was a, one of the first comments on the first day that this video was released and it was it said it asked how to get a successful YouTube channel now there's there's a lot that goes into um, actually doing something like that and um, I'm kind of gonna brush upon uh, each specific uh, aspect of it I mean there's a lot of aspects that I'm kind of not gonna be discussing because it's some stuff that you kind of have to uh, find out on your own and uh, kind of uh, do to your own liking but I'm gonna talk about the generals of uh, having a successful YouTube channel and uh, all of that good stuff so stay tuned and if you guys are enjoying these stories and if you guys have any more ideas make sure you guys leave it in the comment sections below because I am enjoying uh, you know just talking about whatever I can come up with uh, so let's go ahead and get started uh, to have a successful YouTube channel it takes several several different and uh, s several different variables to fall into place okay so a lot of people are gonna try to start a YouTube channel and be unsuccessful with it because simply they don't know exactly what it takes and the amount of uh, time it actually takes to maintain a server or not even a server uh, an actual YouTube channel itself like the, not not a lot of you kids like not I'm not calling you like I'm not saying it in a bad way but a lot of you guys who uh, want to kind of start a channel don't really know exactly um, the, the amount of uh, the amount of dedication it takes in order to be uh, starting a, a channel such like a large channel and to become uh, successful at it and what I mean by that is uh, you guys need to realize that um, when you're starting YouTube you can't um, automatically assume that you're gonna do very very well and the reason that is is because it doesn't your YouTube channel does not just take off overnight unless uh, you've got the connections and you ha somehow have you know some insane connections that kind of gets you all those subscriptions because it's just one of those things that doesn't happen just so when you're starting off YouTube don't expect to um, have it as like a monetary gain sort of thing um, until until years like years and years upon after you actually start is when you guys will actually start to see the benefits of having a YouTube channel so my one tip to you guys on uh, my very very first tip to you guys on starting a YouTube channel is don't uh, expect too much out of it and the reason that is is because some people jump right into YouTube thinking that it's gonna be making them bank looking at people like PewDiePie and like Noah Craft and Camping Rusher thinking that they make a lot of money off of YouTube and kind of trying to base their channel off of stuff like that and the, the simple simple answer to that is it's not gonna happen guys uh, the reason that is is because it's very very hard to get a nice solid subscriber base uh, for your channel and for your uh, kind of viewing audience and everybody has their own little uh, recording style Everybody has their own little stuff and that's kind of um, that, that kind of goes hand in hand and if people obviously don't enjoy your content They're not gonna stay subscribed or if they say subscribe They're not gonna be watching your videos and it's it's some of the it's just one of those things hold on Let me close my window here. Excuse me it's one of those things where it's really really hard it's gonna be hard at the beginning to find that niche of players who want to watch your videos and who continually continuously come back to watch your content and uh, don't be discouraged that's the number one rule don't be discouraged on um, you know if your channel doesn't do well at the start and if, if, if it's very hard to get started everybody is there at one point all the new or all the more successful youtubers were there at one point in their YouTube career and just make sure you're not you know you don't get discouraged because you don't have all the views or you don't have you're not gaining many subs at first it's it's all in it's all in the YouTube business it's all part of that uh, part of the franchise and it's exactly what happens when um, 
basically what happens when everything like this happens or it ju it's just really really hard to describe but you guys will understand it once you guys uh get more into the your youtube uh careers or your youtube um your youtube jobs or whatever you want to call it but just remember this guys you need to have fun in or when you're starting youtube otherwise you guys are just gonna get bummed out that you're not getting enough subs like really really uh fast and then you guys aren't really getting um enough views and then you guys are just gonna end up quitting so one just keep that in mind guys everybody starts out small and it's very 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 hard to find that group of people who will just continuously watch your videos so make sure that is like uh, you keep that in mind when you guys are starting youtube just don't over don't don't overshoot your expectations and expect to be making a lot of money right away because it's simply not gonna happen like you guys need to spend the time it takes two to three years for your for a youtube uh channel to finally pay off on itself and i'm not joking guys it, it, it takes a lot of dedication uh to have a successful youtube channel so Another thing I wanted to touch on with uh, YouTube and with YouTube channels in general is consistency. So a lot of a lot of YouTubers, a lot of famous YouTubers nowadays already know about this stuff, and it's a uh, it's something that I didn't really notice until a couple of uh, we a couple of months ago actually. And uh, it's 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 consistency. And the re the reason you guys are like, what does that mean? What is what does it mean to be consistent? And it, it means that if you guys have an once you guys finally have an active audience, it's very very nice nice to set up like a set uh like a set recording date a set time release for your videos and youtube has made that really really easy uh for the content creators nowadays and you guys can actually like have scheduled uploads so you guys don't have to be staying up all night um you know managing exactly when your video will go up like there's automatic uploads now that will manage all of that good stuff for you so you guys kind of have to Excuse me, I'm getting a little bit sick over here. Uh, you guys kind of have to stay consistent. And and honestly, guys, the more consistent you are, the more likely it is for viewers to continue to watch you. Because if you're not consistent with your videos, how do the viewers know exactly when to check back on your channel? And how do they know exactly uh, when your new video will come out without you actually uh, announcing it yourself? So it, there, you need to find a set schedule uh, for for you to actually upload all of your videos and um, for, for you to do that it's really really simple just you basically figure out exactly when you're viewing like the, the majority of your viewing audience is and then upload your videos accordingly so I mean you're not gonna upload videos to um, to on like at like 1 a.m. in the morning if you're if your viewers are from a different time zone you know let's just you need to you need to cater everything to your audience like make sure you treat your audience as if they are the the things the major influence on your channel because they honestly are without your audience and without a strong uh, audience retention you guys are not going to be very successful at youtube so keep that in mind when you guys are making videos when you guys are releasing videos just make sure you always make the viewers happy whatever you guys do it doesn't matter if you're uploading like at some obscure hour of the night if that's when the viewers are on like you guys there's a lot of ways to check like your exactly where your viewers are from and i suggest you guys do that because it's honestly one of the best things you can do C kind of cater everything to your viewers just so they feel like they're like really really part of your series and i've, I've kind of prided myself on that actually and um it's one of those things that I've, i'm really really proud of that i can uh you know i can take a lot of you know just take a lot of stuff and just upload it directly when people want to watch it and it's just one of those things that you guys have to find out for yourself it's not it's not the same thing for everybody it's not the same formula for everybody so you kind of have to uh mess around sort of with the uh with that type of upload schedule and all of that sort of stuff so those are just some general tips with uh becoming a youtuber and um you know just youtube tips in general just don't be don't be over expecting don't expect too much right off the bat because it honestly takes a long time to get um to get to where i have gotten and to get even higher to, to what i've gotten so i've only been doing youtube for a, a small while and i've I, I say that i've been very very fortunate with it because obviously of my position on the archon and all of the connections that it's brought with me 
and uh, another tip that I had so this is this is YouTube related tip and this is for everybody who's starting YouTube and um, I've noticed that a lot of people who have come to me for advice I've been giving them this advice almost in one form or, or another and it's probably um, well from the people that I've given advice to they say that it's probably the best advice that I've ever given or it's real it's like the best advice that I could give to anybody so I'm gonna be giving that advice to all of you guys who kind of want to start a YouTube channel in general and that is don't do it for the money and what I mean by that is don't I kind of brushed up on this earlier don't do YouTube because you think that it's gonna make you money it's gonna make you bank because of you know people like PewDiePie you don't don't think like that don't have that in your mindset never have money as your main goal because if you have money as your main goal you will start to treat YouTube as a job and that is when the fun gets taken out of the equation and um, I, I know you guys are like why would I why would I not want to try to aim for money and the reason that is is because I've seen a lot of my friends uh, my lot of my YouTube friends that I've I used to record with and that I currently record with now like some of them are having a little bit of a, a trouble internally and mentally and uh, some of them like uh, have a hard time deciding whether or not they actually want to continue YouTube and then some of them even contemplate quitting and the reason why that is is because they no longer have any fun with actually uh, recording and because it's the reason they don't have fun recording is because they're trying to treat YouTube as a job and um, it's one of those things that you kind of have to figure out like balance on your own but the thing is the, the reason why they don't find it fun anymore is because they're recording just to get content out there and that that is not the way you should be taking things when you're when you're doing stuff something YouTube related because it's not a fun it's not a fun thing to do honestly and um, the reason why or the reason you guys should stop that is because if you're trying to do YouTube for for business purposes only you'll immediately start to hate yourself for recording and then you'll immediately start to just be oh I don't want to record right now I just don't feel like working right now and if you treat YouTube as a job it's honestly just gonna drain all the fun out of it and um, my my little opinion on this portion or this is kind of my own uh, view my own outlook on this little section that we're talking about right here is honestly have fun with anything that you are recording forget how the views are doing forget how much your viewers might not like the series as much just record everything that you want to kind of or everything that you're having fun with if you keep YouTube fun and then you're also earning money at the same time on the side it's like a win-win situation for you and for your viewers and for your pocket and it's just really very 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 good to think about it in that sort of aspect it's really really nice to kind of just keep everything fun and you guys might just be like talking or listening right now and you're like what is he talking about I have fun with all of my recordings and I I really really enjoy recording everything that I'm doing and honestly you guys if you guys are enjoying everything that if you guys are starting to you uh, to do YouTube right now and you're enjoying everything currently guys just stick with it just don't don't record series because uh, you think it'll be popular because everybody does it record series that you have fun with it doesn't matter exactly if you're viewing uh, audience Audience doesn't um, like it at first but uh, honestly all all series start out very very small my own series started out very very small and eventually you'll you'll grow a following for that series and then that's when that's when all your views will eventually start to grow go up so I mean it's really really difficult to kind of say exactly what to do uh, to have a fully successful YouTube channel but the main advice that I can give you guys is just stick with it have fun don't expect too much and just record for your own personal uh, gain for your own personal fun and don't worry don't worry too much about exactly what other people think of uh, your channel or, or your of your videos just honestly find you know that that niche that you are part of in this in this vast minecraft community and kind of just flourish from there you don't have to please anybody just make sure you're having fun doing whatever it is that you are doing and um i guarantee you guys that you guys will be just successful eventually it might take a year it might take two years it might take two months you guys just it's kind of different for everybody everybody's got their own luck and everybody's got their own connections and uh, that's basically all the basic YouTube advice that 
I have uh, I can give you guys it's the it's the most important advice I think just have fun with it don't treat YouTube as a job and don't don't expect way too much from it and uh, that's kind of all I'm gonna be talking about today um, let's see I sold a fair bit of blocks here and that new block the slash block tactic works perfectly so let's see what my bal is we have eight what is that eighty three million nine hundred twelve thousand one thousand nine hundred sixty eight so let's see how many times we can rank up here rank up rank up rank up rank up all right so we can rank we ranked up to rank number Q guys moving on up <laughs> rank number Q now let's go ahead right before we end this episode I'm gonna go ahead and check the new is there new warps uh, warp uh, Q oh I can do warp Q it's just not on the list so I can do warp Q now. Let's go ahead and check what this looks like. Oh gosh, there's like no safe zone here. Uh, there's a safe zone here. So there's looks like it's more blocks here, more diamond blocks for us to mine. And uh, let's see. So everything just got a lot more expensive. This is 1.2 million now for 64 diamond blocks. So this is very very nice. Everything is slowly starting to. Uh, improve here's mr. Big Time gamer. I know he's a subscriber. What's up, dude? Welcome dude. Welcome. Welcome So uh, yeah, that's basically all I'm gonna be talking about today If you guys have any more topics for me to talk about leave it in the comment section below guys I'm enjoying this series for the fact that I love talking to you guys about stuff that I'm very passionate about And I hope hopefully you guys are enjoying everything it is that I am talking about and if you guys are uh, enjoying this sort of a uh, talking portion of D field. I mean, I love just talking to you guys about everything So if you guys have any more topics for me to talk about any more questions for me to answer leave it in the comment sections below guys And um, I'm actually have just been grinding a lot on uh, prison. I've been doing a lot off of camera as I said um, and uh, ooh, This guy's giving me a sword sharpness five. Thanks. <laughs> it's D Fields OP War Sword. Sharpness 12. Oh my gosh. Fire Aspect 5. A crazy sword. Thank you, DCFC. Thank you for that, my friend. So, yeah, guys, um, I'm going to end the episode right here. Hopefully, you guys did enjoy my little talk about YouTube and all of that good stuff. If you guys have any more topics, leave it in the comment sections below. And um, I have one quick question for you guys right before this video ends. Uh, should I. Do some PvP on the server like right away or should I try to rank up all the way and try to get like a chest full of uh, Prot 50 before I start PvPing. I kind of want to keep ranking up. I'm almost at Z and I kind of want to just I'm almost there so I'm I'm trying to uh, get there eventually and um, I'm not sure if you guys want to keep me mining but I'm enjoying this little mining grind while I talk topics to you guys so I'm not sure if uh, don't don't yell at me if I don't listen to you guys but um, I might just continue doing this sort of uh, talking series thing for the first couple of episodes because I, I am enjoying kind of sharing my wisdom with you guys in general so if you guys have any any uh, more topics for me to talk about leave it in the comment sections below guys and uh, I will um, try to respond to as much of it as I can and I love every single one of you guys who do leave a comment once again guys Let's try to hit 200 likes on this video and if we hit 200 I will be so proud of my new prison series and you guys are just showing so much support for the series So let's try to hit 200 likes for this video. Thank you guys for watching. Hopefully you guys did enjoy This is D field and we will see you guys later